Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about some fun decor attachment ideas for interchangeable seasonal decor. Around here, we love to start with the door hanger. So the door hanger hanging up behind me is an actual door hanger that you can leave up all season long and you can change out the attachment for the different seasons. This is easily done using a little magnet and a metal disc on the back of the attachment. I can change this out each time a new season rolls around. All I have to do is take off the previous attachment and put a new one on. For right now, let's just keep up the cute little jack-o-lantern. I painted the jack-o-lantern, a matching candy corn, and a cute little witch hat all on my YouTube channel. This is our Halloween attachment bundle set. We are coming out with new attachment bundle sets for every season to make changing out your attachments on your different decor pieces super fun. I'm getting ready to show you three more options of things that you can put attachments on. So you're gonna want all the attachments for all the things. So let's talk about first, if you wanna create this project, you're gonna need to grab the home attachment house door hanger in our shop. You can get this in a template if you're comfortable cutting your own wood blanks, or you can get it as a wood blank and we will ship it to you. Next, you're gonna need a strong magnet and one of these little metal discs that have the 3M adhesive on the back. I'm gonna put the link down in the video description for you where you can find both of these items in my Amazon shop. I'll show you how to attach this to the project in just a moment. If you're creating this project and you wanna grab some attachments, this project takes six inch size attachments. So it really just depends on the project that you're doing and what size attachment's gonna fit that best. The next thing that I wanna show you is our candlestick stands. This is a cute little kit that you can grab in our shop and it comes with just the candlestick stand itself or you can get it with 10 different attachments for the different seasons. This is a cute one that would coordinate with your little jack-o-lantern there. And you could stand this up on your dining room table with some florals around it or you could even put it up on a mantle um, above your fireplace in a corner as like a little vignette. There are so many options for what you could do with this cute little candlestick stand. And then anytime you're ready to change it out, you can just swap it out with another topper. If you want to purchase some additional attachments for this little candlestick stand, just be sure to get the eight inch size. So these are going to be bigger than the ones you put on your house. Something else that you might want to put attachments on is our home porch leaner or even a welcome porch leaner. We have both options available in our shop, both in a template and a wood blank. If you're creating one of our home porch leaners, you're just gonna need to make sure to get a four foot tall board that's roughly 12 inches wide. If you don't want it to blow off your porch really easily, make sure and get one that's at least two inches thick. So that's four foot by 12 inches by two inches. Got it? <laughs> Then you're gonna grab the letters that we sell in our shop and you can even grab more attachments that are 12 inches that are gonna perfectly fit right on your little home porch attachment. So you can put this cute little pumpkin on in place of the O on your porch leaner. Now, if you wanna do a welcome porch sign, you are gonna need a different size for this. We do have an entire blog post about how to create one of these uh, porch leaners, but if you want to keep it simple, grab a six foot board by 12 inches by two inches. Another fun little project that you could do is create a countdown calendar. We have these wooden frames in our shop that come with this little dowel rod on the back. You can stand it up on a shelf with just the dowel rod, or you can even attach a string to the back if you want to hang it on a wall or on a door. You're going to add your own little chalkboard circle and write the words days until and then put a chalkboard square down below. Now, if you'll notice, this one doesn't have a magnet yet, so I thought I would share with you exactly how I glue on these magnets. I like to use E6000. E6000 glue is an industrial strength adhesive that's going to work great for gluing these magnets down. So just put a little dab of that on the back of your magnet. Try not to get it on your fingers. Center it up on your sign. If you're not sure exactly where to put it, one little tip is you could go ahead and put a, a, a metal disc on the center of the back of one of your attachments and then center your magnet up on there with your glue on it, like so. And then you're going to line this up so that it looks centered and press down. This will ensure that your uh, attachment is perfectly centered in the middle of your board. Just make sure that it's high enough that it's not covering up your words down below. Uh, now this is gonna take some time to set up, so I'm not gonna continue to hold it up this direction or it will start to move. I'm gonna lay this down flat to dry. And then once you have your piece glued on, you can write whatever it is you're counting down to. So I've got this cute little paint jar on here because I'm counting down how many days it is until our live event, SA Live, which is 
our big event that we're doing this fall in the Smoky Mountains. We're going to be having two days of painting and crafting together. Let me ask Siri how many days it is. How many days until November 15th? It's 94 days until then. 94 days. We're counting down. So I can keep this up in my craft room and count down the days until the event happens. You could do this for Halloween. You could do this for Christmas, for birthdays, put a cute little cupcake up here at the top, whatever it is that you're counting down to. I hope today you've gotten some inspiration for some fun new projects that you can do around the house to add some fun decor to your home that you can swap out for the different seasons. It's as fun as popping this on with a magnet and a metal disc. So simple, so easy to do. And there are lots of tutorials right here on my YouTube channel that you can follow right along with to figure out how to paint these and to give you even more ideas for what you could put on them. So head on over to our shop now, grab your door hanger or your candlestick, whatever project you wanna start with. I'm gonna put all the links to the things down below for you so you can find what you're looking for. I'll see you next time, happy painting. Hey, before you go, I wanted to invite you to take part in our upcoming fall workshop. It's called the Festive Flip Door Hanger Workshop because we are painting not one, but two sides of a door hanger. This will be a great project that you can hang up all through the fall and Christmas seasons. It's happening October 1st and 3rd. If you would like to come and join us, I'm gonna take you step-by-step step through the process of exactly how to paint this. I'm gonna provide templates that you can trace onto any 18 inch wooden round. All you're gonna need are a few paints, some painter's tape, and a few other supplies. You're gonna be so surprised at how you're able to paint this by following a few simple, easy instructions. If you wanna make things even easier on yourself, we do have a kit option that you can buy that will send you the wood blank and even 3D lettering. If you're scared of the lettering part, this is gonna make that so simple. You can sign up for as little as $10 right now by following the link down in the video description below. I hope you decide to come and join us for the festive flip workshop and I'll see you soon.